RVing can often feel like a battle, especially when it comes to the budget. You, you want to do more, but you don't want to spend more. So what are some of those things we can do to, to keep the budget down? So I've been on a bit of a mission. I'm trying to find the, the lowest fuel prices, especially as those fuel prices just continue seeming to go up and up, especially in the summertime when people are starting to, to travel more. So I wanted to find the best possible fuel prices that I could, whether it was gas, or diesel, and what are those best options that we have out there, and are they worth it? Are they worth the effort that you put into them for the savings that you get back? So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today, what I learned and what we're actually using. We put a lot of these head to head, and I wanted to see which ones came out on top. Now let's dive right into the list and get into this information because there's gonna be solutions on both ends. We're gonna look at some for diesel, some for gasoline, some do both because I know not all RVs out there are just diesel. So having a combination of gas and diesel is key to finding good deals out there for RV. The other thing about these programs is almost all of them give you an incentive to wanna to tell your friends or share the word about getting these discounts. So I have zero affiliation with any of these companies out there, but I will share that code with you uh, that I have to refer a friend out there. Uh, usually it gives you a benefit to the person sharing the code, obviously, and sometimes there's a, a benefit to the person signing up when you use that code. So it gives a kickback in, in both directions to kind of get you jump started into the program. But one of the first programs we're gonna look at is Mudflap. And this is one that I would say that isn't super popular and I don't hear that much about it. Mudflap is one of those that's just for diesel customers. So we do have gas options coming up, but this one is just for diesel RVs. The, the nice thing is, is it's going to be the truck stop. So if you have a larger RV or you have a, a fifth wheel towing it with a diesel truck, these are going to be easy locations to get in and get out. And it's not a system, you're, you're getting some of the discounts that truckers get when you go to these locations. So you can pull this up in the app and you can see what stations they have available. It's not all the truck locations out there, but it is going to be some of them. So the nice thing about Mudflap is there's no number games going on. The price you see is the price you pay. It's really simple and straightforward. I really appreciate that. I don't want to feel like a mathematician when I'm just trying to shop for fuel. Signing up for Mudflap is pretty easy too. It's not an additional card that you have to get in order to use this. So you're going to use the app. So there's a pro and a con that comes along with that. Number one, I'm not having to give out a ton of personal information to get into a program to get these savings. Uh, the, the bad part is it takes a, a little bit more work when you're going to get the fuel. It's not that big of a deal, but uh, because it's all going to be inside of the app, when you want to activate what that price is, you have to activate it. It gives you a fuel code and you take that code into the attendant on the inside to the cashier and they punch that into the system. You go back outside, pump your fuel, come back inside to finish up the transaction and get your receipt. So it's a little bit back and forth. You can't just do everything at the pump. You do have to go inside to the attendant. I've heard some places you can press the call button and, and give them the code from outside and simplify that process process, but that's usually the, the, the way that it works. You have to use one of your own credit cards, but it has to be linked to the app. So it's going to be inputted into the app and it pays through the app through your own credit card. So if you had a credit card that had points, you can kind of double up on those. If you're spending and you're getting cash back for the money that you spend, uh, that, that can work as well. Then if you wanted to refer a friend, like I talked about, this is my code to help you get jump started into the program, uh, but you can refer a friend and get a kickback for that as well. So overall, it's easy to use easy to sign up and decent discounts inside of this program. The information that you have to give them is a phone number and you have to put your credit card into the app that it's going to pay through. So that's your commitment for getting into this program and using it. Okay, now this is the big one that a lot of RVers talk about. This is the Open Roads TSD Logistics. So this is a fleet card that you get through them to be able to save money at a lot of the, the trucker locations that you can go to. There's a bit of information to unpack with this one. So with this, you're going to sign up for it and it's going to give you access to the app. And that's where you're going to be able to see the fleet prices that are available to you out there through the app. And so lots of different locations. It doesn't cover all truck stops like Mudflap doesn't. This covers a bit more than Mudflap and we'll do that in a side-by-side -side comparison. But you can see the price in there for what it is normally and what savings you'll have using their card. Here's the gist of it. When you go to these diesel locations, you'll often see an inflated price for diesel. And so this gets you the fleet price, which is 
definitely a deep discount from what you see on the billboard on the side of the highway. So since you're getting this card, you're now going to get that fleet price. So the way that they get a kickback from this is anything that's on that savings that you have, they get 10% of that kicked back to them and then you get the, the rest of the savings so you're not paying that inflated price. So it never really actually cost you, it just takes a little bit from the savings that you would have uh, and kicks it back to them. I would say another advantage is actually having the card. So this card allows you to pay at the pump. Oftentimes when you use a credit card at a truck location, uh, that number is too high. That amount that it has to clear is too high. So you have to go in, get it cleared, go back out, pump, and th that back and forth. This allows you to pay at the pump and not have to do that back and forth in and out. So it, it could save you a bit of time. But I did have to do a little bit of math in order to, to see what's going on there. It's all actually laid out really well inside of the app so you can see what what you saved, what you paid, uh, what went back to them from the, the savings. But I wanted to lay it out because the number that you see in the app when you're looking at those prices, looking for a place to fill up, you might see 315. Well, you're gonna pay a little bit more than 315, but that's because they're gonna take some of those savings. So that 315 includes the savings that also is gonna get kicked back to open roads. Now, let me paint this picture with just a couple of examples. So one time we went to go fill up, it was uh, 315 in the app and the the station said that it was usually 351. So really large savings. At the end of it, we did the, the math on it and we paid 319 for the fuel. That's just because uh, the, the savings, the 10% that gets kicked back and the 65 cent fee that was added onto it came to 319. And that was when we were filling up like 37 gallons. So another time we weren't filling up quite as much, but again, the price in the app was 315. So when I did the math on it, it said that we paid 325, which is much better than the 3 73 that it was normally going to be at that location. But it's all laid out really well in the app. So if you look in the app, you can see that the quantity, the gallons that we bought was 18.93 gallons. And then for the unit price, it should have been 378, but we saved 11.94. So 10% of that means that they got $1.19. And if you look on the top there, there was a fee for 65 cents. So that just gives you an idea of what you would see. Really good, great, deep discounts and very convenient paying at the pump, but that's just how it, it pans out. So when you're looking at those prices in the app, it's gonna be slightly higher, but still a really good discount. And the more fuel that you actually purchase, the, the more that 65 cent fee kind of gets diluted in the price of the fuel. Now, the thing that I think RVers like about this is obviously the deep discounts is gonna be first and foremost. Being able to pay at the pump is just an added benefit so that you don't have to go in and out. But I think another thing is the reputation that Open Roads has built. They've been around for a while, a lot of RVers have been using them, and that reputation has definitely been helping them out just providing a good service for RVers. The thing that I think uh, some RVers are reluctant to, to sign up for, and I was kind of in this group, was the information that you have to give them. I don't like giving out my social security number for much, but you have to give them your social security number, and then you have to pay directly out of your bank account. So it's tied to your bank account, and so when you use this card, you're just paying straight out of that. The nice part is you don't have an extra bill to pay at the end of the month, or it's not going onto a credit card that you have to pay off. When you use this, it's going to give you the discount and then it's just gonna come directly out of your, your bank account. But I get it why some people are reluctant to, to sign up for that. I, I totally understand that. If you do end up signing up and this information did help you out, there is a place that you can put it in my email address. I'm not, like I said, I don't have any affiliation with them, so I, I'm not one of the ones on the side. So put in my email address, jaredalloaboutrvs at gmail.com. I haven't even really looked into what those rewards do, but they have a spot for that. I guess I'll find out if somebody signs up. Now, it isn't all about diesel. There's some good gas options out there to save a decent amount of money. And there's there's two solutions that really kind of rose to the top that are, are good for being able to save money with gas. But I want to give you a couple of tips because it's not just the diesel RVs that want to be able to use the larger lane. So if you're out west and you find a Maverick, those are going to be pretty easy to get into with a, a gas RV. They've created truck lanes that have uh, diesel and DEF, but it also has gasoline and it's labeled for RVs. And they have their own little discount program. You can sign up for it, save a couple of cents on each gallon that you're filling up. You can sign up for their card, get 10 cents off on each gallon, uh, but they have different options there. Now, the other one that is 
really exploded and people really love our Bucky's. I mean, do I need to even really say anything else about that? People love Bucky's. It's huge, it's large, it's easy to get in there. They have pumps just as far as you can see. They have a few world records. I think they have the world record for like largest car wash, largest convenience store. I mean, you get in there, you're buying a brisket sandwich. Bucky's is just a, its own animal of its own kind. I guess their mascot is an animal, but uh, Bucky's are huge. They're going to be more on the south and east side of the country, but a, a couple of options for gas RVers for being able to get in and have larger lanes. But let's get to these last two programs. So Upside is one that I didn't know about until you guys left a comment down below. So if I miss something in this video that you think is a great solution for RVers, leave a comment down below. It's always great to be able to share that information so, so all of us can, can learn and save a bit of money and help each other out. But Upside is a little bit different because it's not just gasoline. It has other things. You could get it for restaurants and, and whatnot. But they it works differently because it's actually like a, a cash back kind of a program. So uh, you activate an offer in the app and you can see that we could save 45 cents on this fueling station to be able to go get gas there. So you activate it and then you go and then it'll give you cash back. And then that's going to get deposited into an account of your liking. So if you wanted it to go into PayPal and then you transfer that to something else, else, you have that option. So it can kind of be removed from your checking account. And you don't have to give too much personal information. You do have to register a credit card or a debit card for making these purchases so that they know that you activated it and you went and claimed this offer. But you don't have to put in the whole credit card. So they, they want the numbers in the beginning and the numbers at the end, but the six numbers in the middle, they don't get. So it's going to be like a card identifier so that they know that that offer was claimed, but it's not them actually getting your full credit credit card number. So this one is definitely different. It's going to be a cash back. So it takes a little bit of time to get that cash back rather than just having that, that being taken off at the pump before it comes out of your account or before your credit card is charged. So definitely different, but who doesn't want to save 45 cents when you're filling up your, your vehicle, your RV with fuel? Again, this one has invite your friends. So if you put in this code, you get an extra uh, 15 cents off a gallon the first time you fill up. So it kind of gives you a jump start into the system. But this one is definitely the, the least amount of information that you have to give over or opening an account. Uh, you have to have that identifier, but you're not opening a new account or giving them too much information. Now, the last one that we have is going to be Gas Buddy. Gas Buddy has multiple tiers. You can obviously use it just for free, be able to open it up and see some of those prices around you. And there's, there's gonna be pros and cons on that, but they also have the ability for you to get a Gas Buddy card to be able to save more money with them. So we did the, the first tier of the card and we've been trying it out and we have been saving money using the, the Gas Buddy card. They do have paid versions above that. So like the, the next version above that is $10 a month. So you actually have to pay to get into that, but it gives you a discount. So if you use more than 50 gallons in that month, it's gonna pay for that membership up front. We're sticking with the free one for now, but they do have different tiers in there. So when you open up the app and you're going to use the card, you'll see the normal prices that you see out there, but then you'll see a, a line through that price. And some places might have a deeper discount by using the card. You can get a discount by putting in your code, the fuel rewards code that you can have at that location. But then this will give you an additional three, five, eight cents off, sometimes 25 cents off by, by using the card. So it just depends station to station and location to location, depending on what kind of discount you might get in that area. Now with using the card to get the deals, you actually have to activate it. So if you found the fueling station you want to go to, you can click activate, you go there, then you use the card and that's what gives you the deal. You can't just go there and fill up and use the card. You actually have to activate the, the deal in order to get it. And sometimes it's not reflected on the pump when you're watching it, but you can see inside the app when it's actually charging you, you, you can see that you're getting the discount directly right off of when you're paying. It's not like upside where you're getting cash back, it's coming off when, when you're paying. Now, a couple of things to be aware of, there are limits that you can't exceed for a day or for a, a given week. So they do have set limits. Number two, I, I don't think Gas Buddy is as strong in Canada. And that's the other thing is this is usually user entered information when you're seeing it on Gas Buddy. Uh, the more people adjust those prices and see it when you go to the pump, you can confirm or you can enter in, fill in the blanks where, where the prices aren't already filled in for that station. The nice 
pricing is, is they give you an incentive to want to do that. There's rewards out there. You can actually get free gas by entering in information at gas stations, updating those prices. So that way it's current for other people. So the more you put into it, the better it is for everybody else. The more they put into it, the better it is for you. So uh, they really want to incentivize people updating prices as they see them. But on the flip side of that, sometimes you get a, a price that is not correct. So they do have timestamps on there. So you can see, hey, that price was set up like a day and a half ago. It might have changed. Everything else has jumped up 10 cents in the last day and a half, uh, but that gives you an idea of how accurate that price might be. The other con is for both of these for gas is uh, they're not necessarily set up for RVing. So you don't know if that station is going to be able to handle a larger RV that has a gas tank on there. So uh, you can check it out, look at the location, look on satellite to see is there a truck lane at that fueling station? Because sometimes they have those lanes that will go around the gas station. You can come around and get to those. It's not just the front of the store where you, you kind of feel stuck. But let's take a minute and stack these all together in a few locations and see who comes out on top. Is it better to go to the truck locations and use the, the discount of open roads? Or is it better to get to your destination, unhook, and use the Gas Buddy app to go somewhere and get a deal? So let's, let's break this down and see where the best deals are. Okay, so we're gonna first look at the beautiful state of Maine and we're gonna look at diesel prices because that would take two of these programs out from the get-go if we didn't. So Open Roads comes in at $3.36. Gas Buddy is coming in at $3.56. Upside is coming in at $3.25 and Mudflap didn't have anything in Maine. And for our second example, let's drop it down into Florida. So our base price with Gas Buddy is $3.45 normal price. Open Roads puts it at $3.21. Gas Buddy put it at $3.22. And Upside put it at $3.11. And Mudflap put it at $3.50. Let's move over to Utah for our next example. The, the base price with no program is $3.73. Open Roads has it at $3.50. 57 cents. Gas Buddy has it at $3.48 and Upside has it at $3.27 and Mudflap coming in at $3.66. And for our last example, we'll go to the Northwest. We have a baseline of $3.64. Open Roads has it at $3.61. Gas Buddy at $3.51. Upside at $4.13 and Mudflap at $4.33. So you can see that the, the prices will vary and which one will do better in different locations. It's, it's just an example. So you can see that Open Roads typically was beating out Mudflap. The discount was much deeper on Open Roads, uh, but sometimes Gas Buddy would beat out Open Roads and, and vice versa. So I will put one asterisk next to the, the upside because if you read through any of those reviews on the app, you can see that sometimes it's a little bit glitchy. Sometimes the savings that they say you get there, you have to kind of fight for them. It, it doesn't always get give it to you just right away. And remember, it's a cash back kind of a thing. It's not just a, it's coming off at the pump. So uh, working through that sometimes can be a little bit of a hassle. So you have to weigh out, is it worth it to try and get those savings or is it better to go with some of these other programs? So it's definitely worth mentioning, looking at those prices. Uh, sometimes they were on the, the lowest end, uh, beating everybody out. Now, one that we didn't mention in this that a lot of people do have is the, the Good Sam, because you might have that for staying at campgrounds already. Uh, you do get a small discount. It doesn't usually go as, as deep as this at uh, Pilot and the Flying J. Sometimes I've used it just as a side note. I'll, I'll go in and they don't know what I'm talking about when I try and give them that as a, a discount. So sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't for us, but uh, just a side note for that. Now, one that used to be pretty good in the past was Escapees, but uh, that fuel program with the Escapees membership doesn't exist anymore. They had to, to cancel that fuel program. Escapees is still around and has a ton of other benefits, just not the fuel program. And in the past, it probably would have made this list compared to all these other ones. So I think that's going to do it for today. Just laying out this different information. That way you know exactly what it's going to take to get into each of these programs, uh, what it takes to actually use them and go through the app and do it, and what kind of savings you might actually see out of it. Seeing them compared side by side and seeing which ones save you more, which ones save you less, and which ones are, are less hassle that are out there. So I hope this information helps you guys out. So if it does, you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.